What are your thoughts on marriage while we're here? I think marriage is a great thing. Yep. Um, I, think, um, I think the union between a man and a woman is amazing. Um, I think that marriages now are becoming like businesses more so and transactions. 50% um, of marriages end in divorce. Uh, transactions in which way? As, As in, in married just for the platform. Married for, if you can give me this, mm. I'll give you that. And if you can give me that, I'll give you that. Which is, which, if I'm honest, relationships have always been transactional. What I think now is transactions gone on steroids. Okay. I think it's just become monetary and it's become for clout and it's become, oh, I want a great wedding, but I don't really want to work on a marriage. Yeah. So it's that I'll spend grand on a wedding looking like I love somebody. Mm. And then in five years time, the marriage is done. And you're like, you spent how many grand on that? Like, you can't get that back. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I think marriage is great if people actually adhere to the vows, which is richer, to, for richer, for poorer, to death to you part. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah. What, what it's you know, intended for. Yeah, yeah what it's yeah. intended for. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? So... It's like, I don't know, I know people to have had three, four marriages. That's not yeah. a death to your part. All your, all, your, all your spouses are still living. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, a lot of death. Yeah, it's a lot of like, <laughs> not unless you kill them all. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. But it's just like, yeah, I think marriage is great. I think the union between men and women is great. I also, I also think that in relationships in general, I don't think, I think relationships are evolving as well. In which way? So I don't think that a relationship is just between one man and one woman. Okay, right. What are you misogynist or <laughs> misogynist. misogynistic? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no. Well, probably. Um, <laughs> but I would say that in when it comes to relationships, people have to tailor make their relationship. Okay, right. So um, if there's a man or a woman, and you want to have more than one partner, you have to tailor make it. You can't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have, and I'm going to not tell someone. It's yeah. like they're evolving to the point where women know this is what the whole side chick culture is about. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. yeah. Women yeah. know that their man has another woman. And they're open to it now. Yeah. They're open to it. So that's, whereas before it was like something hidden, now it's like something out and open. Like It's like, oh, yeah, I know he's got, he's got a woman. And it's like, okay, cool. Well, poly, um, polyandries are out now and polygamy's out now and mm -hmm. people can have, you know, more than one part. And I'm just like, I guess they're evolving. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, Would you not say it's reverting back to old times where, where we, people had multiple wives and yeah, this was a normal yeah. thing back then? Um, I think it's, but it's only reverting back to that space for the people that can afford it. Okay, right. And right. for the people that understand what it is. Because <laughs> I've said this many times, the majority of women are looking for a certain type of man. They are looking for a top tier man, the this, baller, the this guy, the, the, the guy, high, high the value high man. End, man, the high value man, mm. or whatever. That's what Kevin Samuels used to call it. Oh yeah, yeah. And um, okay, cool. That man's gonna have a lot of options. If all the women are looking for him, yeah, it's true. Now what? Now you know. That's why these side chicks they know their side chicks because they know that their man is of value. They know mm. that a lot of women want that guy. The, a lot of women don't want the guy that works at Starbucks. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> the guy that works at Starbucks is probably going to have one woman. Do you know what I mean? Like, but the guy that's a footballer who, or somebody who, who is a billionaire who makes a lot of money, women are frying their knickers at him, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, I'm not saying he should take it. I'm just saying, as a woman, know that that's what's happening with your man. Do you think that's a woman lowering herself to be with that man? No. Would you, would you look at that way? You, no, because I think when you go back and you go back to human history, you'll find that the people that were in power, the men that were in power had multiple women. But saying that, that was a time when a man was essentially above a woman, wasn't it? What do you mean above? As in the man was the one that is in power, the breadwinner, the one that would go to yeah. work. A woman didn't even have ed education back then. Yeah, they could, to they some degree. do certain things, yeah. To some degree. But then, like I said, an, a, a powerful, educated woman, <laughs> men don't want that. Serious? Generally, men don't want a power, power educated woman. There are some men that do, but men generally don't want their woman on the same level as them or above. Because of what, ego? Or? Um, ego, um, battles. I think, when a, I think when a woman 
gets a lot of money and power, she feels like she has to battle with men. Okay, she right. feels like she has to be the man's equal. And it's like, men don't want to battle with women because you're still a woman. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, you're allowed to get your money and your power. Don't get me wrong. I don't know women wanting their money and their status or whatever. But I'm like, look, you're going to be... Your, the, the, the amount of men that are going to be at your door mm. uh, and the amount of men that are going to be at the woman who's on the checkout at Asda, who's hot, she's probably going to have more men mm. at her door because more men are probably higher than her, higher earners. Um, they've probably got more status in society and she's looking for that. She's on the checkout at Asda, but she's pretty. And a guy always loves a pretty woman. doesn't matter whether you're working corporate or whether you work in Asda. <laughs> like they want pretty women do you know what I'm saying so if you're a pretty woman who's been in a environment where men have constantly been her equal and she's been battling with them mm. she has that same attitude and takes it into a relationship it's just not going to bode well for the man do you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah